Hello everybody, I am Bones. Uh, we are back with 39 Days to Mars on today's Let's Play. Now this is a cute little game. I uh, really dug the graphics here. I wanted to do this. Originally me and Shelly were going to do this. Um, we were going to do a co-op. <sighs> However, we got to do this alone. It does say two players have suggested this is a puzzle game, first of all. We're going into this blind. I've been saving this game until I could do a let's play of it. I apologize if it's a little dark here in the studio today. Uh, our lighting rig uh, has malfunctioned. I gotta replace it. So I've probably been darker in the past two videos than I would like. So I do apologize. Uh, honestly, right off the bat, this one intrigued me. And I when I first saw it, oh, I think I should build a spaceship. Mars, Mars. Oh, really good. Have a nice, have a nice voyage. voyage. Radio. I just got my coffee in me, so I probably I might be a little hyper. I'll warn you now. Uh, I've been drinking extra, extra strong Today coffee we lately. We need nothing except, we need our, nothing courage. except our courage. And perhaps a map. And perhaps a map. I feel like a map would be good. Uh, first off, developers. I'm loving the artwork you guys did here. It's beautiful. Um, everything seems to be contained within the mouse. After the flight plan got shredded by Percival, I put the pieces in the commode for safekeeping. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you put them in the commode? Uh, I feel like there is some great British it's naming. A it's a fishing rod. It's just long enough to stir a pot of tea without leaving my armchair. My armchair. Um, but I like this quirky little world they have here. It's like a little set of contraptions everywhere. I put the power source outside, just in case it explodes again. Well, that, that makes perfect sense. So, we're just kind of looking around for a moment here, guys. Orientating ourselves in this crazy, wacky world. You can already see there are a lot of objects here. I don't know what I'll need out of those objects, but we're going to see. Uh, let's see what this is. This store my hats in this old tea chest so that we smell nice when I wear them. Um, that's not really a bad idea. I hang the key out of reach, so, key out of reach so that the thieves can't, can't steal it. However, that also puts us out of reach. So, right off the bat, I'm guessing we're gonna need... Uh, something to grab that key, of course. We're going to need... I feel like, can I take this fishing rod? rod? It's just... What happens if I do this? It's a fishing rod. No, I know. I get that, buddy. Um, so here's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to see... Oh, no. I guess we're not going to see. What happens if I... What, what, no. Um, I do wish that I could WASD the keys as well. Oh, I've done something. This anticipated trajectory. I can drag this around. Uh, and there is a cat paw. What does this do? Nothing, and I... Oh, W-A-S-D. Okay. So I can WASDA this. Space. Right, space here. This reminds me a lot, and I know some of you will get this, of the David Firth humor, and if you don't know what the David Firth humor is, I'm talking about, like, salad fingers, um, that kind of thing, just the way he, not like salad fingers, he used to do this weird series about dreams, and it reminds me slightly of that. Uh, I don't want to give up on a puzzle already, jeez, oh, Pete's, I'm just not, I really should have shucked my other, uh, Options, maybe? My other controls? I guess the problem is I don't really know what I'm doing right now, period. I don't have a point of reference for this. So, the cat paw, I hit space on something. I can move this with the cat paw. It's a little sticky cat paw. Am I supposed to grab anything outside of this? I don't know. Um, so let's take a look here and see what's going on. I know ultimately I'm trying to get to space. Uh, we'll Following say yes and see what like that, 
would probably end in a spectacular but yeah well I don't even know the flight plan is here I don't um, I will say they certainly don't walk you through this do they uh, not that that's a problem I've played a few games like that but it certainly would help outside to know more of what I'm looking at rather what I'm looking for exactly here all I know so far is that my guy has wacky little antics um, and I don't quite understand what is going on here like a I tutorial might have been good um, but I can't really knock it uh, I was gifted this game by the developers I got a YouTube key to check this out it's so a fishing rod. It's uh, I am loving the art that is for sure after the flight plan got shredded by uh -huh. all right so we need to get to the commode first of all they look like there are a bunch of pipes under me and I have this other stuff as well so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the main menu first guys uh, only because I want to learn the keys uh, I do not know the keys so I want to learn what the keys are controls there we go so co-op interact a that's that's joystick. Okay. Interact left click, back right click, menu middle click, interact space or E. Wazda. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, a story would have been good. Resume journey. Resume my journey. Thank you. Okay, so really no keys I didn't know about. Uh, so that's not gonna help. So let's do the first I puzzle the here. Door, door, key. Can't reach the key. Uh, do I have an inventory? I do like the uh, swiftness in which I can move around. The controls are quite intuitive here. It's pretty much just mouse, mouse, mouse. Um, why does the keys do something? I feel like that flight plan was important. And I obviously horribly, uh, miserably miss that. One thing that's kind of tricky here is that you can see these, I think the bold things are the foreground, these are the background. But I need that damn key. I hang need key it. Out of need it. So, how do we come across the key, guys? I stole my hat. Yes, we know about your hats. The easiest way to me would be to grab this pole, use a pole to reel in the key, grab it, walk down here and open the door. However, I don't know how to do that. Um, the only option I get for the key. Did I do it? I did! Okay. So it's just learning the controls, kinda. I hang the key out of reach so that the No, I know that, son. But now you're gonna use this. So if I hold this. What is this? See, and this is what I'm talking about. There's all sorts of crazy Karnapo going on here. Um, okay, alright. So the cat thing does things too. So the cat helps me by being a cat. So I need a locomotion to move this and this over to this direction. The locomotions has already been here. You can't actually in this section move this any further than that. So let's see if I can... Come on! We need to get this over here. It looks like that's connected maybe, yeah. Is it connected there? And then this looks like that is connected there. At least as good as I can get it, eh? 
So now... No, oh, that was better than... No, that was better there. Not there, you tit. Alright. I feel like I'm better off just using Wazda for this and not messing with the mouse, because I'm just going to get it all sorts of clunky dory Alright, uh, so now what? I got this going. I have done things with this. Uh, and now it's a matter of cat fancy. Um, again, very interesting game. I don't quite get what they want me to do here because I am... I think I've set the gears correctly. Clearly it's a gear puzzle, right? So I gotta get the gears going the way they need to go. The problem is, do I, is there like, oh, okay, 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 we're, do, we're getting something going here, we're getting something, guys. Okay, alright, 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 and what's going on now? Boingy. So, we're gonna go to this one now, and try to do this thing with the falafel and the, alright, alright. Oh, so close. So now I gotta move this back. I'm starting to get this. This is a- oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, you sneaky little beaky. Alright. Uh, so I'm kind of- oh, shit. Alright, so I'm kind of excited here, guys. It's taking me a little while to get used to it. Please don't laugh at me. Uh, I normally do not do games like this, so this is certainly a interesting type of game. But, uh, got a lot of charm to it, actually. Got a lot of charm. You gotta- I know what I, they want me to do. I gotta move this thing near that. Now I see why this is oh, son of a biscuit holder. This is why this is cooperative, guys. Uh, because one person, I, I really should have done this game with Shelly. Now I know you're thinking, Shelly's a snail, she doesn't have hands. Look, Shelly is clever, man. Uh, Shelly is deceptively clever. One time, Shelly helped me win a tug of war. She's a snail, so figure that shit out, right? Oh, you son of a biscuit. Um, so it's possible. It's possible. I'm hoping that. Oh, no, of course you're not going because that would be useful. Um, so, that's the. That's gonna be the trick, isn't it? How do I get this passive pusher my jig? Uh, that's the scientific name I'm going with it. So basically. There's a lot of puzzle work in this game. A lot of it's motion-based. Um, but deceptively interesting. I'll say that. I don't think I can obviously just smack this son of a biscuit over there, because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? So either way, I've got to get it there. I really do think I may need two players for this game. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's what's going to have to happen, is... You kind of got to park one person over here and the other one over here, and then say go, and then it's just what it is, you know? Oh, oh my god. You got it? You got it? Oh, we are the champions. Oh, you. Really, dude? Really? Because I'm seeing Queen. Uh, did anybody see that trailer, by the way, for the new Queen movie? I think it looks friggin' amazing. Here's truly will definitely be watching it. Um, really, of course that happened. I was a huge, huge 80s fan, so... Uh, as you know, I grew up in the 80s. But, uh, Queen, man. Crazy band. Did a lot of stuff that was groundbreaking. Um, of course everybody knows we are the champions, but how many of you realize how many other good songs they did, you know? Like, uh... My favorite song by them is Don't Stop Me Now. And everybody laughs about it, but honestly... Genuinely, that is my jam. I love that song by them. I still love that song by them. I think it is a highly underrated song. Um... Just a great, great kind of, like... Having fun song, you know what I mean? You have a crummy day and listen to that song and rock out. Anyway... Uh, so this game, we're finagling the key here. I feel like this is going to be a 
boring let's play for you all, I apologize. Um, but already a deceptively interesting puzzle game here. A lot harder than you would think. This is a lot of timing. Oh god, like see there? I gotta watch this friggin' fan, fan blade now. So now I gotta scooch the dooch over a little. So that when I pull up on this puppy, I can get this time just right. Because this is a one-shot deal. Go cat, go, 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 and we got it. Oh man, all for a key, all for a key. It's an ornate key made out of yes. cast iron. So that was getting a key in this game. So very, very, uh, very ornate the puzzles. Um, I really dig the simplistic artwork because it is actually more detailed than it looks at first. It reminds me, actually, guys, um, if you've ever played where the uh, sidewalk ends, um, I think it's shell servicing. A gentleman is always well dressed when facing certain death. I feel like there are hundreds of four chain memes in that statement. Um, that to me, I feel like that is the art style here. It's kind of like where the sidewalk ends in some of these. Like the top hat. Of course, this is a puzzle. So we have some locks. And we have switches. And we have this little spidi -gurduker. And what do you do, Cat Paw? What do I have you do? Cat paw, cat paw, have you any wool? Yes, meow, yes, meow. Uh, three, I don't know, something's cool. Okay, so, clearly I just slapped a with you guys on here. Um, but I don't know why I do. Okay, unlocked them all. Okay, I, I kind of see what's going on. Ooh. I think I see what's going on here. So, this is what this is. Cat power will go here. And pull this down. I will put the lock there. And then unlock that. Uh, and I need to get it all the way across, basically, is what this is. So it's a matter of finding which ones will jump this puppy up, like this one here I need. So we're definitely going to pop that one there. Um, you know what we've been watching lately at home, by the way, guys? Uh, I don't know if you all have Netflix, but uh, if you do, I highly recommend that you all check out the old original Twilight Zones again, because if you watch... You know that doo 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 doo? Did you know the first like few seasons? That's not the theme song. Um, it's kind of a trip to see like that, but very cool. Okay, so we got that done. Now what do we do here? What's going on, cat paw? Nothing. Shouldn't this open? What did I do? Let's fix this, see. Eh? I thought this was a simpler puzzle than it is, so... Shame on me. Shame on me! Alright. So the light's blinking, this is blinking. Um, I think the ty thing that I, I wish they would do a little is be like... This is where you have to go with this puzzle. But they don't. Is it not to get it all the way up, but to get it a certain amount up, maybe? I don't know. Let's try this again. Come on, cat on. Get your shit straight. Alright. So it's flexing and bobbing and weaving. Clearly it can't be 
full power because full power seems to. Ah! I get it. I get it. I think I need to only keep it around here. Right? What? What is this? Um. Yeah, I'm a, a fucking loss, frankly. Oh, hold on. Something's going on there. Yes! Alright, so. It's my favorite top hat. I needed to get that halfway, so it's not all about doing all of it, it's paying closer attention to what it's supposed to be doing. Alright, guys. A lot of work, but we're out of the house now. Um, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this little game. Uh, the puzzles are, you know. I'm not leaving without a map. I'll need it. Fuck. Where is your map again? Your map is in the commode, right? Let's look into that. Now, this one, guys, I'm, I really don't understand. Um, like, there's nothing on here, so I feel like this. This Following one I can't do without the map. Would probably so I feel like I do this one last. So let's go find the map. He said the map was in the commode. This is the commode. I put the power source outside. Yes, I know that, Jeeves. I put the power source oh, outside. You. Dude, you don't have another commode in here. This is the commode. So where the heck is the map? It's not leaving without his map. He needs a commode. Commode is toilet. Uh, at least I was under the assumption it wasn't written. You will not. I'm not leaving without a map. Yeah, I know. However, I don't know where the f your map is. I put the power source outside. Okay, you need a power source. The power source is clearly there. We've already done the hat thing. We've done the hat thing. So all I can do is have him wander around the house, find the commode. I put the power source outside. Shut up. Um, somewhere out there, somebody's already laughing at me. Like you dumbass. It's this, this, and this. Which I'm, I'm look. I'm sure it is. Um, but understand, I have not played a game like this before. I guess this is the map. But I don't see the map. So I'm not quite sure what the hell I'm doing. And there's the little cat thing. Um. Boop. 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 Yeah, there's like nothing. I have no idea. See, and it's showing me like, grab this and do this, but I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh. Well, all right. I'm loving that. Now, do I uh, do I turn these pieces the same way? Yes. Oh, I can. I can turn the pieces. Uh -huh -huh. I'm liking that. All right. So you, bigger shit. So this is uh, one hell of a puzzle game, eh? So you go here, maybe. Roughly, you would go here, right? Um... No, dude, crap. Cat, get your shit together. Alright, so... You go here... I think that's as straight as I can get this. Uh, said the senator. Alright. Sorry, guys, that's horrible. I actually had somebody the other day yell at me uh, for an older Let's Play in which I, I made a political joke, and they were like, No, don't do that. That's not going to be good for your channel. And I'm like, Dude, I, I have like 22 subscribers. I don't really think I need to worry about offending anybody yet. You know, I'm not like PewDiePie level. I'm not, uh, I, I jokingly call our channel the best worst channel on YouTube. Uh, and the reason I do is because I have a ton of content and yet no subscribers. So, 
uh, which is frankly a little depressing, but you know. Uh, at the same time, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I mean, I know what people want to see, and they want to see me do dumb things and yell and over-exaggerate when I'm afraid and do all that. I, but you know, I don't do it for one main reason, and that's that it drives me nuts to see. And it became something of like, why do people watch this? Because it's... I felt like it insulted everybody else's intelligence, frankly. So, uh, we didn't do it, you know. Uh, more power to the YouTubers who go and do that kind of thing and, and act like, you know, everything's scaring them to death. But to me, I would rather be honest with my YouTubers and not do that kind of thing and let them work out themselves, you know, oh, well, he thinks this is funny, he doesn't think that's funny. I would rather have just given them genuine real reactions instead of fake stuff. Uh, and I think I got this map all sorts of backwards. Obviously the north one is the only one I'm confident on. So what I should really be doing here is finding the piece that fits there first, like any good puzzle. So let's see what would fit there if I turn it around. Um, but no, that's kind of why we... Uh, that was kind of the driving force for me to start Bones and Gary, was just... Uh, I had watched a bunch of YouTubers, and I'm not going to bash them and say names, that I thought were ridiculously overacted, and didn't have any kind of uh, truth to what they were doing. They were just... Uh, and again, I'm not... Look, if that's your living, if that's how you get your cheddar, I get it. It wasn't for me... Uh, I didn't want to do that. I felt like that was a bad way to go about things. When you have people who really watch you and believe that how you're acting is how you really act, or how you're acting is how you really feel about a reaction, I didn't want to do that stuff. I felt like that was disingenuous to what we were doing. So. I personally did not do that, and I know that's going to make me sound elitist and horrible, and that's not the intent. Um, but that's what started Bones and Gary, actually, was just wanting to do a channel with reactions that were more honest. I know some people accuse me of that, who tell me, like, well, you're boring because you're too mellow. Um, and other people that were like, you should do this more, do that more show boobies, do games with boobies, and it's like, hey, YouTube doesn't love that. Um, I've had, we've had a big discussion lately, actually. Uh, we had one around here about whether or not I should feature a few um, age-restricted Let's Plays. Uh, and the general consensus was, we don't know. You know, we, we've thought about it, um, but as it is, we're a small channel, we can't really afford to take a hit as it is, because we don't have enough viewers to lose. Um, if we were, we were a bigger channel, it would be less risky um, to age-restrict a video, and it wouldn't be anything bad, you know, like, I've done Haiti twice, it would be like uh, a proper Haiti video, and you know what I'm saying there, it'd be a, a nude Haiti Let's Play. Uh, which you can get away with really on YouTube because there's nothing bad about it. It's just a naked lady running around through a maze. It's not like it's anything sexual or anything. But anyways, back onto this game. I'm rather impressed with the puzzle work here. You probably already see the pieces of the puzzle that I'm missing and where I'm going. You have to forgive me. We've had one hell of a long week. In particular, I've had a rough long night. Um, did not sleep good at all last night, man. Long story. But, uh, yeah. Um, geeked about the next Infinity Wars. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm not going to ruin anything, don't worry. Not one of those people. Uh, I would just say... 
get all your snacks ahead of time because you do not want to leave the theater when that movie starts. Um, I feel like every every person I know that has left the theater for quote unquote a minute to go get something was really bummed out that they missed a huge pivotal thing and almost all of its pivotal stuff, so you really can't do that. Um, none of this looks right. None of this looks right. You would think I would have it too, because look, I got... But this is where I'm starting, right there. So I need a piece of that to go there. That doesn't fit. Do these two fit? They look like these two should fit, don't they? But no, the pieces themselves don't fit. There's only so much that with the path on it, and I feel yeah. like this planet is what I'm missing here. This is a missing uh, piece. The only sucky thing is that this cat paw has to be like my rotator, so... And obviously that doesn't fit there. Does it fit? Get your shit together, cat. Does it fit here? Does it fit here? No. Doesn't even look like it fits here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, maybe the octopus is a missing link. I have been... Let me just say this. Never before in a game have I heard those words. Maybe the octopus is a missing link. So, uh, that's pretty funny. And I'm probably a little slap-happy right now, guys. I do apologize. Uh, as I said, copy, you know. Uh, so let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. What was that about? Did the game just literally, like, throw me a, throw me a bone here? It did. You beauty. Alright, so it doesn't have to be totally square either. So that's interesting. So what happens here? I get one of these close and the game starts to be like, mm hmm that's the one. Um, I know, my fans are so disappointed right now. I'm just kidding, I don't have fans. Uh, so we got that going on here. I feel like this is the other outside edge, so I'm not going to mess with this one just yet. We're going to leave that like over here somewhere. Um, that was weird, though. It's cool, I'm not going to lie. So this map is uneven, clearly. But what I'm looking at here is this. See this outer edge here, guys? I feel like that's got to line up somewhere. So let's start messing with this. I believe you back in five. <laughs> Normally I would not be belting out our Kelly. But, uh, I'm trying to be funny. And failing miserably. For normal. <laughs> I'm really not funny, I know. Don't worry, that is not lost on me that I'm not humorous. I'm well aware, guys. I'm well aware. Um, believe me. Nobody critiques my humor more than I do. Uh, and yet I was one of those, like, horrible class clowns in school. Not because I really felt like it would get me anywhere. I just, I don't know. I liked, I liked to make people laugh, you know? Uh, even now, that is a thing I, I suffer from. It is the class clown syndrome where I try to make people laugh, even at my own expense. Um, listen to this game making me all fill this up one shit. Well, first of all, this is an interesting little puzzle because it takes the convention that you're used to of, oh, just fit this piece exactly where it goes. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this piece. Bigger shit. This piece is going somewhere. Um, and I feel like... I feel like that's right somewhere down here, maybe even. But I don't know. You're not right. You're the wrong edge. Um, but no, I, I actually want to apologize to the devs here. We meant to do this game earlier, but like I said, we had been MIA a little longer than we wanted to, and 
picking up the pieces and coming back from some of the stuff we uh, went through in our personal life was rough, so there was actually a question of whether or not we'd even continue this channel with as, as little subscribers as we had. Um, and decided that no, you know, we enjoy doing the channel, it's something that we have a love for, so we just decided to stick with it. But, uh, yeah, there was, there was a while where we almost just quit Bones and Gary entirely. I'm not gonna lie to you there. It was something that us felt... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? Futile, maybe? Um, and a lot of it was just, you know, how do you pick up the pieces when you feel like you are fighting something bad, you know, fighting something that you are not prepared to deal with, and that's what happened to us, is we, we had a lot of bad stuff, uh, where reality kind of kicked us in the ass, and it was not pretty, guys. Um, and I've already gone over all that, I'm not gonna repeat it again and again and again. If you don't know, then you can watch old videos of us, and find out what had us dealing with the tragedy, but it was a personal tragedy, almost ended our channel, and that's where we are. And we got the that map now. Enough. We can sort out the details on the way. That's... Please tell me we really run across an octopus, because I feel like that would be freaking amazing. Alright, now I feel like I need to go back up here for something. Don't I? Of course I do. Uh, so yeah. Again, 39 seconds to Mars. Beautifully clever puzzle game. Uh, you know, even though it takes me a while to do these, and I do apologize, I have always sucked at puzzle games. Um, oh, this is like a node game. So I gotta plug these little nodes into things here. I'm with you, I'm with you. Can I just, oh, okay. So here's the whole set of nodes, so I gotta somehow stretchify and work these into the right thing. So we gotta hit all of them, maybe? I think they do. I think I gotta, like, hit every one of these doohickeys, eh? I feel like this is how Congress works. Have you gone here for this? Well, I can't get this done. Why? Because this person didn't fill out this paperwork. We'll get this done. Well, I can't do it. Why? Because... Jeremy, you know, Fitzgibbons didn't do this. Son of a bitch, Jeremy, we gave you one job. Um, are these symbols important here on the side, guys? I don't know. I feel like when you light these up, you get symbols. So, we're going to stretch you out here. Stretch you out here. You all are very Gumby-like. But if I do that, I can hit... Yeah, some of these. This one doesn't hit here, though. It's not big enough to stretch. So do I have this wrong? Do I put these three up here and then these down there? Let's try that. Move you. All the way there. Move you here. They're very clever, I'll say that. Whoever was doing this knew. Uh, how to do these, because this is a very much a classic. Mm. This is tricky, guys. Tricky, tricky. Tricky to rock around. Alright. Let's see, we have a node there that's not connected, so obviously the main goal is to hit these nodes. Um, but do I need to hit all of them or just the right ones? Because the other puzzle I tried to hit everything and I didn't have to. However, I do believe in this one you have to hit every friggin node. And I'm calling these nodes because that's, uh, that's just a, like a layman's term here. Um, this is a... I feel like these are trial and error, where you can just kind of get some of these. Where other ones, I'm clearly going to bash my head in a wall by the end of the day. 
Uh, I don't even have my second cup of coffee yet, and I'm working on this. Uh, I am a horrible morning person. I don't know about you guys, but I, man. Um, I will tell you something. If you are a younger person watching these Let's Plays, you do not understand now the power of a nap. But as you get older, you're going to love naps. <laughs> naps will be your gospel. Trust me. I, uh... Holy cow. I don't even know how to explain it, really. It's like, you don't even have to be tired, and you're still like, oh, nap. Uh, sometimes it's just like you got nothing else to do with your day, and you're like, you could take a nap. And then you're just napping. And happy. You're happy because you're napping. Um... I remember when I was younger, it annoyed me when adults around me were always sleepy. I didn't like it. I was like, why are you guys napping again? Now, since I'm older, I'm like, oh, why aren't you napping? You should be napping. Uh, so, no. I know there are adults out there laughing right now as I'm saying this, I'm sure. But, yeah, it was one of those things that uh, I really felt the need at the time that I should be napping no matter what. Now, okay, so this one's pointing to here. So this one goes here. So knowing that, this is now my puzzle anchor point. Everything else that revolves around this puzzle, this stays where it is. Uh, I don't know. I think the goal is to make sure that I'm hitting the right notes to pop these little puppies up. So let's Let's focus on that. I think that's what I'm mistaking, is I don't have to do all of them again. It's just getting these two to pop up with pictures as well. Can I do that? Can't move this one. If I move this book, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do it. I have an idea here now. There we go. No other picture though, as you see. As you were saying, Batman. Can I stretch this one out? Well, I can. And now can we put him here? No, get down. You son of a bitch. Get down there. Get down on it. Get down on it. Yes, I like funk music. Same. Uh. I always liked funk music, man. I think music is one of the great uh, equalizers, you know? We could all just agree to stop being shitty to each other and enjoy music. I think the world would be a much better place. I really do. I know that it's a pipe dream, obviously, but... Hey, a dream's a dream. And no, it is uh, certainly like something I've never understood is, is uh, frankly, what the fuck is wrong with people nowadays. I think that comes with age. As I've said on this channel before, I'm not the youngest of guys. I'm 41. Uh, you get philosophical. The way I explain it to people is when you're in your 20s, you think you know a lot, you don't know shit. When you're in your 30s, you realize you knew nothing when you're in your 20s. When you're in your 40s, you realize you're going to have a hard time in life from that point on because you're just going to be nostalgic constantly. And it is one of the scariest things you'll ever experience. Okay, so the cat claw here doesn't help me as much. But can it? Does it stretch these out more? I wasn't even utilizing my cat claw here, so let's... Can I hold him here and then we... Oh, I can! You clever little shit. So the cat claw is like an anchor. The problem is these things are all elastical. And they whippy-dippy around. That's my, hey, look, that's my word now, guys, I'm using it. Come on, baby. I can't even get one of these other two over here to pop anything up. I'm just... 
Okay. So that's this one goes here and this one goes here. Nice. So I'm starting to see some of this. In order. Maybe. He's my one catalyst. This one's another. I feel like the game is basically like, get this done, you idiot. Um, sorry, game. Working on it. But no, I mean, I, I uh, you know. Basically, I've noticed if you're close to the right thing you should be close to, the game's like, do it. Do this. Uh, which, again, I appreciate. So we're gonna grab this puppy here. Oh, I'm doing so bad at this. Alright. And I do apologize, guys, for getting so philosophical on you. Again, I just don't know what to tell you, man. It, it seems to happen with age. Uh, true story, you know. I used to have a, an uncle that would give me, like, life advice and all this, and I was like, oh, God, not this again. Um, but now, I'm like, oh, he's smart. I should have listened to him. But, you know, arrogance of youth. Of course, I didn't listen to him. Because uh, no one does when you're that young. That's just how it is. Oh, oh! See that shit, guys? I had a flapple apple. I'm sticking with that term so you can bite me. Come on, baby. So I need that. I need this here, this here, and these two here. Now what? I'm not giving up on this shit. You can see what I'm saying though. There's an elasticity to these. Too little, mur, 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 too much, mur, 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 so it, uh, it makes it a little annoying. Uh, so what does this game remind you of? And actually, in the comments, guys, let me know your favorite puzzle game. What is the puzzle game that you enjoy? Um, what's one that you, for example, you feel like you yourself could not... If you had to, like, pick your top three, what would your top three puzzle games be? I think it's a fair question. So this one just does not want to stay. Ugh, this is like the equivalent of Twister. This was annoying puzzle things, so. I know that one goes there. And I know that one goes there. Let's see, even if I put this one there, this one's connected to this one. Doesn't want to go there, it wants this one there. This one clearly needs to go somewhere over here. I can't plug that one in there. Shit, man, I just messed that whole thing up. So here's how I'm looking at it. He has to go there. He pops in there a bit, like so. That leaves this one unaccounted for, and this one barely touching anything, like a bad first date, date trying to grab boob. Now with those done, I still have a problem. This little shit is nowhere. And even if I put him here, that's two of the same things on this, and that does not help matters, does it? I gotta push him here. Push him here somehow. This one's gotta... No, you stay there. This one here... That's the cat pod here. The problem is it messes up the rest of these. You seem like they get darker as they get closer to one of these nodes. Therefore, it's almost like a power thing, right? Like a power node? Can I swing this puppy all the way down there? I can, but what if I swing it here? No. I swing it here. Ah! So there we go, guys. We're getting somewhere now. Now this one. The one's there. What happens if I put it here instead, though? Nothing happens because it wants it there. 
Um, the problem is, again, I have one node not accounted for. So, which node is it, guys? Which node is it? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it this puppy? No, can't do that. Okay, so these ones kind of got to stay where they are. This one helped this one. But where in the fudge do you go? I, I really don't know what to do here. I feel like if I stretch this one too much... Uh, we're going to go with my earlier statement that the cat one here is exactly where it needs to be. And then this one, and this one. Aha! Alright. I apologize, I'm by sure the way, if I took so long that Maybe I should have written them down. you all uh, are like son of a bitch. But... Ah, wingdings. The finest form of communication. <laughs> oh, ah, this nerd. wingdings. Alright, so... With all this said and done, let us partake of our journey wherever we go. I don't really know where we go, nor do I know what we're doing. There's a puzzle there, of course. I'm not paying for that. Let's run. Let's run! Now, what is this? Um, so this is a lot of puzzles, guys. This one doesn't seem as hard, but I know that's deceptive. Oh, shit. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. What puzzles did I see there? We saw one of these puppies. We definitely saw one of those puppies. I don't believe... Uh, maybe one of them? Well, I honestly was not even paying attention. It really was not. There. I don't know. It's still locked. Luckily, I invented a volatile helioscopic password generator to find. Luckily, I did. And I'm guessing that's all the way back here. Just don't make me do the damn puzzle again, please. It's the evening post. I wonder. Astronomers and polymaths were yesterday astonished by the pronouncements of William Werewell from Melton. This freshly invented double lens telescope unveiled the deepest mysteries of the I really like the, the style of this game. They, they've uh, kind of captured something very unique to me. I haven't really played a lot of games like this. It's weird to me even like doing YouTube stuff for a lot of these gamers because, uh, okay, so. Uh, basically that little nine moon olive moon. Got it. At last, we are ready to depart. At last, taking ages. Um, but no, I I, uh, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff like this. And again, the reason that why that's impressive to me is, as I said to some of you before, I grew up with Atari, right? Like I've been playing games way before Let's Plays, any of that stuff. Uh, Wolfenstein was one of the first big games. That I had for my computer, along with the original Doom. Um, I've been in it for a long time. All right. What are we doing here? Look at the cat. The cat's actually grabbing stuff. That's cute. 
Alright, guy. Now what? You only I grab something? What does the cat do? Is the cat not grabbing something? The cat's grabbing too. What is taking so long, genius? I really don't know what I'm expected to do right now. I don't. Um, they could have definitely done a little bit more with explaining some of this. Like this type of puzzle, you will do this on. This type of puzzle, you'll probably need to do this. I mean, come on, guys. Give me something here. I'm literally just holding buttons now with no one in sight as to what I'm actually supposed to do. Uh, so, yeah. On the other hand, as I said before, fantastic artwork. Interesting game. Um, but, yeah. Let's see again if maybe I can figure this puppy out. We're gonna go through and reread the controls. Uh, I know some of you are out there laughing, or at least the developers are probably laughing or annoyed that I cannot figure it out. But uh, again, guys, not a single walkthrough, no idea what the heck I'm doing. No idea. Interact, back, up, down, left, right. Interact. Da, 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 da. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna resume our journey. Bring it down from here for a minute. Make sure that I got everything queued up that I need to queue up here. But it looks like it. I don't know what else it would be. Uh, all right. Let's see. I would hate to have to end the game here and make this like the last big thing just because it, it won't do more. Um, I don't like having to do that to a let's play. I have had to once or twice and it's not a joyous thing. I mean, it always kind of leaves a bitter, bitter taste in a way, you know? Just because you, you want more exciting things to happen. I want exciting things to happen so that you guys can see them. You know, I think it's boring when I can't uh, show you guys things. Especially when I'm hyped to show you. And look at all the work we did here to get this. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So I'm getting it now here. Well, I got it anyway. It seems like... Alright, so see there? I pulled that. And the way it works is you got to keep like moving your mouse down as you grab this. No, no. So I grab the mouse. What? Ah, dude, I don't know. I grab the mouse. I scooted it up. Let's let go of the cat. Okay, so the cat grabs this, and then I scoot it up like this. But again, like a, a little tutorial would have went a long way. Um, I'm happy I figured it out at least, so that I can show you guys a little more of this. Because this is quite a charming game. Um, quite a charming game. I don't really know what I'm doing now. Do I, can I go this way? Is there a little... Do I need any of this junk? No. Alright. There is our spaceship, the HMS Fearful. Pieces are falling off of it as we speak. Well, he must be Union. Alright. Poor fella. So then I just click this. Come on, cat. Of course, the cat can climb it. He's got Moxie. Sometime later. That's us. I get the cat. We built our ship in low Earth orbit. But we it's built our ship in low Earth orbit, orbit, but it's still on way up. The cat is just chilling out with the balloons. He's got a plan. I love it. Um, apparently, I just keep clicking up here. I wish my guy would haul ass a little more here. That's a cozy little home, isn't it? 
Make a ribbon here. Look at that. Um, as I said before, one of my. <laughs> uh, as I said before, one of my big uh, dreams eventually is if our YouTube channel does get enough, we plan to move into a tiny home, but we're doing a hill home in which we will have a whole channel dedicated to showing you the hill home, showing you the things we put in it. And our explorations with that. Until we untie the rope ladder to cast off. No, well, of course. Um. So who knows, guys? Uh, if you want to see that sort of thing happen, you can do your part by just sharing our videos, telling your friends about us, asking them to subscribe. Uh, every subscriber helps uh, our big dream come true. And again, our big dream is the tiny hill home, it simply wouldn't be a which we plan to put a proper, uh, proper garden in, to be so sustainable with the gardening. Uh, we want to do tons of that. So it's a Blackwell pulverator. It crushes space coal into fuel for our engines. Brilliant! I love it. It's a specimen tank. No, I know that. What is down here, however? Our sturdy landing craft is made out of the highest. We can't leave for Mars until we untie the rope Dude. ladder to cast off. I know. Our sturdy landing craft is. Let's go over here. I'm guessing this is what he means. Let's tie this puppy off. Oh God! Cat, get in here. On our voyage to Mars. Get in here. Sweet Jesus, cat. That was scary. And we're sailing. It's so far, it's so smooth. And that's what I was afraid of. No voyage ever goes perfect. The My question is... How do I unpulverize it? Time for afternoon tea. This will have to wait until after I've had a cuppa. That may be the most British thing he said. I've known a few British folk, and they they are like crazy. Or it's tea, cool, sweet, milky. So there's cell water. Uh, there's an. The ice cup. What is this? What is it? So first we need the water, don't we? No, Albert, what are you doing? This part's a bit like surgeon uh, generator. Yeah. The F and T. Come on, cat. That was completely unpalatable. I'm going to need another cup to wash away the taste. Much. You saw me do that, right? Hot. He likes hot tea. So it seems to differ every time. No, no. No cat catch. Hold it still, cat. I'm talking to a fictional cat, guys. That's where I'm at with this time. By the way, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing here to make the tea not salty? What 
what is this thing here? Okay. No, no. I don't want the tea cool. What are you? Up in helmet. Cat. Up in the sub. I feel like this is fair right here. Mm, this looks like a good cover. Alright. I feel like that puzzle they could have worked out a little better. It's a little too uh, random and crazy to, to be a proper paint pen of this puzzle. Although, honestly, so far that's only puzzle I've had a little an opinion of that was not great. The game itself is fantastically fun. Because despite we the tons of puzzles... We need at least three bushels of coal to get the engine up and running again. Okay. What am I doing? Holy cow, this is nuts. No way I didn't, son. I don't understand really what's happening here. Oh! I got one of these puppies. Look at this shit. Uh oh, I died, I There's guess. Still not enough coal. In fact, uh, okay, I get it. Well, we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Uh, feel free to get the game down below. I'll link it. I am Bones. I hope you all have a great day. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Do it. Tell your friends to subscribe. Get everybody to subscribe. You know. We're an easygoing channel. We have lots of different stuff going on. I hope you guys have enjoyed our Let's Play a Board Game too. If you haven't seen any of them, uh, make sure you check those out. Product reviews are coming up too. Lots more uh, puppet content coming too. We've had some stuff on the back burner with that that they want to hammer out pretty quickly. So, you'll see a lot of that. Anyways, uh, I'm Bones. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.